Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So today's topic is what your person wants from you right now. Um, so this could be for pretty much any kind of relationship, um, any sort of connection. It doesn't have to be romantic, although these readings typically tend to lean in that direction. Um, but you know, they're just general, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Today we're just going to be asking the question of what your person of interest, the person you're thinking about, wants from you at this time. So we've got three piles of cards here to choose from. One, two, three. For group one, we have Aura Quartz, blue and purple Aura Quartz. Group two, we have Selenite. And for group three, we've got blue calcite, I believe. So, I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we'll get started. Okay, so if you haven't made your choice yet, go ahead and pause the video because we're going to get started with pile number one. <clears throat> so group one, what does your person want from you? Let's take a look at these cards. We have forgiveness. We have This card, which says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. We've got the chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment. And we have the engagement card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let me move these. And your four tarot cards. We've got temperance. We've got the Emperor, we've got the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, um, the first thing that I'm getting with these cards is, okay, the Forgiveness card right away, it's um, kind of giving me like the gist of this situation with this person. Um, Basically, it seems to me like you and this individual that you're thinking about um, have had some difficulties in the past. It seems to me like you may currently be in a situation with them where maybe you're not really talking. Maybe you are in conflict of some kind with each other. Um, and temperance is kind of similar. This card sometimes can represent, you know, forgiveness. Uh, more generally, it's about finding a balance, um, compassion, empathy. It talks to me about healing as well. So we have these two cards here that are showing me like a desire for reconciliation um, to some extent, basically a desire for, well, forgiveness, uh, obviously. This card says, stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So, um, the very first thing I'm getting here is that your person is wanting, it, it seems to me like they're wanting a second chance of some kind. And the Chalice card, this is also showing me that um, rejuvenation, that is basically like a new beginning. Um, fulfillment. I feel like, um, I feel like this person really wants to prove themselves to you. I feel like they really want to put the past behind them. And they want to move forward towards a brighter future with you. Um, with this just being general, you know, it's going to be different for all of you, you know, the nature of what has gone on between you and this person. 
but I get the impression that for a lot of you, you know, there has been conflict, there maybe has been fighting arguments, um, or just the two of you just have not been on the same page in general. I don't really get the sense that there's been like outright deception or betrayal necessarily, although that could be the case for some people. Um, but I just get the sense that this person feels as though they've made, feels as though somebody's made a mistake, right? And there's been issues because of that. Um, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, love and accept each other and your relationship will transform. This person is missing the way that things once were between the two of you. Um, this is... This is like a desire to go back to like the good old days almost. This person wants to be on good terms with you they want for you to want that as well, if that makes sense. Um, they want for your connection to be renewed, they want for it to be restored. The engagement card here, um, this doesn't have to be literally about getting engaged. Um, in general, this card is just about a relationship moving forward like to the next level. Um, so, you know, it could be getting engaged, it could represent you know, actual marriage, it could represent becoming commit committed or becoming exclusive with somebody that you have been casually involved with, or, you know, it, it could be any kind of step up in a relationship, any kind of improvement or move forward. So in this context, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, this is, this is your person wanting to this is your person wanting to fix things. This is your person wanting to get back to where you once were, or wanting an opportunity at least to, hmm, how do I wanna say this? For some of you, you, you didn't really, for some of you, you didn't really have an opportunity. You never really had a chance to have anything very substantial with this person. Um, and if that's the case, then this this is, something that they want to have. They they would like to have a chance to actually have something with you that is substantial. They want to seize this opportunity that they missed before. Does that make sense? So it really just kind of depends on like what the nature of your relationship was. You know, for some of you, it's like this person is wanting to go back to the way that things were. They want to be on good terms with you again. I mean, generally, um, or they um, they want to have that opportunity to have a good relationship with you. Um, the emperor here. This card is. Generally, it, it talks about authority, it talks about discipline, control, uh, also stability. Um, the emperor can represent commitment, he can represent a husband or father figure of some kind. Um, in this context, it's really talking to me about a desire for stability, but it's also talking to me about consistency, a desire for consistency. So again, I mean, this is all pretty much boiling down to the same thing. Um, this person wants to be a part of your life again. They want to be on good terms. They want to have a solid relationship with you, okay? Um, and I feel with this card that they also would like for you to see that they have changed or that they are different in some way. Because I get the sense that some of you might be questioning some of you might be questioning whether it would be wise to like take this person back or to try again with this individual. Um, <clears throat> they're wanting for you to see that they are different, that they are not going to repeat their mistakes. <clears throat> and I think I said at the start, it felt like this person wants to prove themselves to you. And this goes along with that, okay? 
We also have here the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks to me about potential. Um, it is a very like optimistic kind of energy that I get with this card. <clears throat> this is, um, let's see, this is showing me your person that you're thinking about feels as though your connection has infinite potential. There are so many possibilities for the two of you. You guys could be so many things. You could have so much together. And I feel like this person wants to, they want for you to give them the opportunity to show you that. Um, they want to have the chance to achieve this potential that they, that they feel and they know this connection has. Does that make sense? Um, and the Ten of Pentacles, Again, we have this energy of stability and consistency and security here um, because pentacles, this is earth energy and that's what earth energy is. It's very solid and stable and grounded. Um, in terms of what they want from you though, I feel like, hang on, I feel like I want to maybe pull out a clarifier for this particular card because I feel like there's something that it's I feel like there's something it's trying to say to me that I'm not quite getting. <clears throat> we have the two of wands coming out here. The Two of Wands to me often represents a decision that has already been made. All of the twos, to some degree, they talk about choices. Um, but the Wands cards in general are very active cards. They talk to me about movement and change. And so that active nature of the Wands usually makes me see this as a decision, a choice that has already been made. Um, Obviously, it follows after the, or it comes before the Three of Wands. Um, these two cards together, if this is a decision that's been made, then the Three is action waiting to be taken. It's like a choice has been made and a plan has been formulated and now we're waiting for that plan to be put into action or we're waiting for something to happen as a result of this decision. So still a lot of, still a lot of, like, potential for action and movement here. Um, hmm. Ooh, and with the Ten of Pentacles, See, the Ten of Pentacles, in addition to groundedness and stability and all of that, um, all of the Tens, just in general, relate to endings. They relate to completion, achievement, some kind of goal being accomplished. And this card in particular, I relate very much, well, not just me, a lot of people relate very much to family and home life, um, domestic situations, that kind of thing. So, ah, okay, your person wants for you to want them. They want for you to choose to make the choice to work towards achieving the potential that they feel this connection has. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, they want for you to choose them. They want for you to want them. They want for you to see them as a wish, to see them as 
something that you are wanting, something that you're desiring. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in this particular deck, this is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Um, so the cards do have slightly different interpretations, or they can have different interpretations um, if you want to use them. Um, and in this particular deck, the Ten of Pentacles is about desire. It's about desire. And yeah, this is, okay, they want for you to want them, basically. They want for you to open yourself to giving them the opportunity to prove themselves to you. Do you follow me? Um, I can't remember if I said this already, but with this card, this is like, they, they want, they want to leave the past in the past. They want to, I don't want to say that they want you to forget about whatever has happened, but they definitely, um, they definitely are wanting forgiveness and they're definitely wanting to move on from it. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's what I'm getting group one for what your person wants from you. Um, they want another chance. They want an opportunity to prove themselves to show you that they they have what you want. They're capable of giving you what you're looking for. Um, and they want to show you that they've changed. They want to show you that they're better and that they, they're willing to make the effort to fix things, okay? So um, group one, that's what I'm getting for uh, your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you and I hope it gave you some insight. Um, this is just general, so if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit into your situation. Just take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. It's not that serious. Um, if you want a reading that is specifically about you and your situation. I do offer private readings. Um, there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description below, so check that out if you're interested, and if not, that's okay. Um, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Okay, so group number two. Let's find out what your person wants from you. Okay, first card that we have is a message for you. Um, we also have playfulness. We've got, oh, we have the love card, true love and fidelity. And we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Your tarot cards, we have the king of pentacles. We have the magician. We have Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So, um, group two, right away, this is really... This person that you're asking about, whoever this is, this person loves you a lot, okay? I mean, we have the love card here. Pretty obvious. Um, this person has a lot of love for you. They also are wanting to be receiving love back from you. Um, it kind of feels like some of you are already like in a romantic relationship with this person. And maybe you're just watching this like out of curiosity. Um, just to see <laughs> maybe what they're thinking about. But... This person loves you a lot, and, and, like, that's the main thing that I'm seeing right now. Um, they love you a lot. They, they, they not only want, okay. Six of Pentacles, this is giving and receiving, okay? This is balance. This is reciprocation. So they want to give you their love, and they want to receive love back from you. Um, that's not to say that you are not giving them your love in return, um, because you may be. And if that's the case, then good. They're getting what they want. <laughs> um, but it kind of feels like they want... It almost feels like this person can't get enough 
feels like this person cannot get enough. Um, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. It doesn't get much more straightforward than that, guys. Um, also, the playfulness card. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Um, we have a, a couple cards here that relate to healing in, to some degree. Um, this one, obviously. And then we also have these two sixes, which the number six um, in the tarot is associated with healing and renewal and that kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I wanted to point that out. I feel like it doesn't feel to me like you and this person have had a lot of um, conflict in your relationship necessarily. I mean, maybe some ups and downs, but that's, you know, it, it doesn't feel like there's been anything really extreme or really out of the ordinary to me. Um, just kind of like the normal the normal ups and downs, the bumps in the road that every relationship experiences from time to time. Um, it's possible that it's possible that there has been something, some kind of external forces that have prevented the two of you from being as close as you would like to be. Um, and that could be a job, that could be family members, it could be physical distance, like you could be, you could be living in different states or different countries. Um, something, some kind of outside factor that, that has, that has created kind of a barrier between you so that you're not, you're not able to be as close as you want to be and you haven't been able to do all of the things that you want to be able to do with this person because of that. Um, but this person we're talking about, they want to close that gap. They want to close that gap and they want for you to also make efforts to close that gap. Um, I mean, we've got the make the effort card here. This person wants to know that you are invested in them. I mean, I feel like they already kind of do, but like I said, it's it feels like this person just can never get enough of you. They always want more. They, um, and, and that, that doesn't mean that you aren't necessarily giving them enough. It's just, it's just that this person, <laughs> This person seems like they're so, like, all about you. And so, they're never completely satisfied. Does that make sense? Um, this person seems to be very committed to overcoming whatever obstacles have been standing in your way. This person wants to be able to spend more time with you. They want to be able to have more fun with you. They want to be able to just exist alongside of you. And this person's energy feels very pure. It feels very um, well-intentioned, uh, wholesome, um, they have they have things that they want to create. They have a life that they want to create with you. The magician talks about manifestation, the manifestation of goals, desires, creating the life that you want to live, um, making your dreams reality. This person has a dream when it comes to you and they want to make it real. And they want for you to want that as well. Um, they want for you to help them to make that. I, I mean, I feel like you and this person, for the most part, probably are pretty much on the same page in terms of what you want. And so this isn't, it's kind of interesting because this isn't uh, explicitly like what they want from you. This is more like just what they want in general out of this relationship. Does that make sense? So it's not really, um, there's, there's not a lot that they really want for you to be doing or, you know, anything like that. They, they are, they're just wanting, they're just wanting more. 
they're wanting more they're wanting to build a life with you the king of pentacles this is stability this card it talks to me about commitment and consistency security um i relate the king of pentacles a lot to like a husband or a father figure so it really seems to me like this person um at some point uh wants to settle down with you and the six of cups kind of similar this card uh i associate with children um childhood youthfulness so it also talks about memories and the past, um, but in this context, this is mostly talking to me about family. This person wants to be a family with you, and this doesn't necessarily mean that they want to have kids, because that's not going to be the case for all of you, but, I mean, they might want to have animals together. They might just want to, um, they might just want for the two of you to be a family together. Is that, do you know what I mean? Um, there's just a really strong desire here for stability and togetherness and closeness. And um, I'm throwing these cards around. Um, like I said, this this feels so pure and so well-intentioned to me. Also, with the Six of Cups... Um, this isn't going to apply to everybody who's watching this, but for some of you, you have in the past been closer together. So like, for example, if this is a long distance thing, there have been maybe a time or two where you've actually been together, where, you know, like when you've met face to face um, and you got to actually spend time with each other in person. This person wants to feel that level of closeness and proximity to you again. Okay, does that make sense? So like I said, this isn't, uh, <laughs> this isn't necessarily what they want from you. This is just, this is really just what they want in general out of your connection. Um, I mean, they, for the most part, they seem to be very satisfied with what you're giving them. They seem to be very satisfied with you in general. I mean, this person doesn't want to change anything about you. This person feels like you are perfect just the way that you are, and they wouldn't change you for the world. They just wish that circumstances were different. And they want you to know, they, they want you to know how much they care and how much they love you. Because they're not sure that you completely get it. I mean, I'm sure this person has told you, but they, they're not sure if you completely understand the depth, the extent of their feelings towards you. Do you know what I mean? Um... They want you to understand that, that their love is like the ocean. It's so, so deep and so vast. Seemingly, seemingly endless. Okay, so group two, I'm going to leave it there. That's pretty much uh, everything that I'm getting for you guys. Um, this feels like a really beautiful connection and I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, I hope that this resonated with you. This is just general so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit your situation. Um, thanks so much for joining me. I hope I see you next time guys. Bye! And lastly we have group three. Group three, let's find out what your person wants from you. So, we have two Lover's Oracle cards here. This first one says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. 
And this one which says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. We also have here the oracle, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. And we have the children card. Interesting. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, this card, obviously, it can literally talk about children or pregnancy. Um, but it can also be about just something something new, something fresh in general. Um, new beginnings. Uh, something that's just starting out, something that is um, in its early stages. So not always literal children, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, oh! Okay, you got another one of these cards. Um, this is the wolf. It says, beware who you trust. Interesting. And your tarot cards are the wheel. We have Nine of Swords reversed, the Hanged Man, and the Nine of Wands. So this is kind of interesting, guys. Give me a second here to look at these cards. Um, It feels to me like you and whoever you're thinking about right now have kind of been through a lot of stuff together. Um, because I'm getting a lot of... I'm getting that there's been a lot of, like, conflicts or just hard feelings, misunderstandings, people just not being on the same page, not seeing eye to eye. And I honestly feel as though for a lot of you, you're probably not in contact with this person right now. Or you have fairly minimal contact. Um, that's what it, that's, that's what it feels like to me. Um, let's see. We have, okay, we have a few cards, several cards here that are talking to me about endings or completion. Um, this one, the past is now behind you, release it and embrace new opportunities. Um, the wheel, this is a ten. Tens are completion, their achievement, their endings, something coming to a close. Um, we also have two nines here, the nine of swords and the nine of wands. Um, nines obviously come right before ten, and so if tens indicate something being completed, something coming to a close, nine is being one step away from that ending, one step away from that completion. Um, so even though nines are not explicitly about something coming to an end, they do tend to indicate that something is close to being accomplished or close to being what's the word I'm looking for an ending is an ending is close to happening something is close to being achieved or closed out whatever um, so that's interesting and it makes me think that and also, the hanged man here, this is, generally speaking, this card talks about stagnation, it can talk about um, a lack of movement, a lack of progress. It can also be about sacrifice, however, obviously, as the card um, is indicating here. Um, that's not an element of this card that comes up for me a lot in readings, but it is an interpretation for the Hanged Man. And in this particular deck, obviously, it is an important element to this card. So sacrifice, what is sacrifice? Sacrifice is giving something up. Sacrifice is basically letting go of something that is important to you. Um, so as far as 
what this person wants from you, it really seems to me like they are wanting for you to move forward. It feels like they're wanting you to embrace new possibilities, new directions in your life. Um, the Nine of Swords here, this card is about anxiety, it's about stress, worry, um, overthinking things, being really stuck in your head. When it is reversed, it typically is about overcoming anxiety, overcoming stress, um, starting to see things more clearly, um, healing to some extent. So I feel as though this person we're talking about, um, also this card, Nine of Wands, it says recovery here um, on the top. This is about being very close to achieving a goal. This is about being weary, being tired, exhausted, feeling beaten down, but pushing through anyway. Um, so it seems to me like this person, this person seems to think that you have been hurt by them. They feel that they have hurt you in some way and they want for you to heal from that. They want for you, they want to see you recover from that. And I think for a lot of you, their perspective is the only way that's going to happen is if I move on, is if I step away. Honestly, this person, it to me, it feels like they I mean, it feels like they want to be around you, they want to be part of your life, but they're afraid to be. Because it feels like they don't, it's like they don't trust themselves to make good decisions, to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. I mean, the wolf card, beware of who you trust. This is like, this implies to me that they they don't see themselves as trustworthy. They want for you to be cautious of them. It's gotten like really dark in here. It's like they want for you to be cautious of them. Um, honestly, it feels like this person, this person wants you to, this person wants you to go out and embrace bigger, better things for yourself. If you could do anything, what would it be? This card is about like unlimited potential, limitless possibilities. Anything can happen. Anything can be achieved. You can have whatever you want. So go out there and get it. Go out there and look. All you have to do is look. The children card, like I said, this can be about new beginnings. This can be... This can be about setting down a new path, moving into a new direction in life. Um, yeah, they, this is really interesting um, because it really feels like they want for you to move on from this connection. It's like they feel as though they are not good for you or that they are not deserving of you for some reason. And so it's like they want for you to, it's like they want for you to just leave them behind. They feel as though that is the best, that's going to be the best option for you. Seek, seek wisdom and guidance. Um, you know, this, this is clarity and insight, wisdom, obviously. They want for you to see what they see. And what they see is that you deserve better than what they have to give you. It seems like this person knows or they at least believe that you are wounded to some extent. 
because of something that has occurred between the two of you, it seems to me like this person feels a lot of guilt about something that happened between you. Um, and honestly, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward message. This is saying what they want from you, basically, or I guess I should say what they want for you is to move on and let them go. They know that you might not want to. They know that you may be holding on to this connection as much as you can. They know that you are probably struggling a bit to release this, even if that's something that you want to do as well. There seems to be a struggle here. Someone is like clinging onto this to some degree and they they just want you to release it so that you can heal and move on with your life. And honestly guys, that is that's really the gist of what this is telling me. Um, like I said, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, this person, this person wants you to, to to heal, to recover, and they feel like the only way that's going to happen is if they leave you alone and you move on and let them go. And they want for you to know that you're capable of achieving anything. You're capable of so much more than what they or let me back up. You're you're deserving of much more than what they have given you and they don't feel that they're capable of giving you what you deserve. At least not at this point in time. This doesn't mean that they want you to be this doesn't necessarily mean that they never want to be a part of your life again. This doesn't necessarily mean that they don't ever want to communicate with you again, but for this point in time, for, for now, their perspective is the best thing for everybody involved here, the best thing for you and for them is to go your separate ways and move on and let it go. And maybe in the future things will work out, maybe you will cross paths again. But for now, they want you to release and recover and embrace all that life has to offer you because there's a lot. There's a lot out there. There's a lot of possibilities out there waiting for you. They want you to find those possibilities and seize those possibilities. So, group three, um, this was kind of heavy. Sorry about that. Um, but I hope it resonated with you. Maybe it was helpful to you. Maybe it gave you some insight. Um, this is gen general, obviously. So if it doesn't resonate, then it probably wasn't your reading. Take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, thank you for joining me though. I really appreciate it. Um, I am wishing you guys all the best and I will see you next time. Bye!